Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. This layout is for Citrus Twist Kits, and I'm using the add-on kit. It's called Daydreams for March, and I'm going to be scrapbooking this picture of me and my friend Jennifer just acting silly one day. And I'm going to be using this Happy Day from Dear Lizzie paper, and it's this really cool green triangle pattern, and when I look at it, I see hexagons. So I'm going to cut out a lot of hexagons, a lot of small ones, and then a couple of larger ones. And I'm going to make those part of my background design. Um, now this is the third layout that I have created using just the add-on kit. And when I get toward the end, I do pull in a couple of bits and pieces from the last two kits that I've received. And um, they match really well with, with this add-on kit. And so I just decided to pull them in because I did not wind up using them on previous layouts. And I really like the soft colors that this layout is going to have. Um, it got me out of my comfort zone because, you know, if you follow me, I tend to go towards bright pink, bright yellow, and bright aqua. Well, this is definitely different colors, and I really love how it turned out. It was a fun challenge to try something different. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these hexagons that are made up of triangles stuck down, and I'm going to add some white gesso because I have to make it a little messy, and I'm just using an old gift card there to smudge it around, and I don't want to cover up the hexagons or the green color. I just want to kind of fade out little bits and pieces of it and give my card stock some texture and a little bit of tooth so when I start to add all of the wet stuff it blends really nicely and it uh, has somewhere to go other than just seeping through the paper. Now these are some mixed media products from my stash. These are watercolors from Shimmers and I've got a really pretty light orange peachy color here and then a darker coral pink color and I'm just going to play around with my water brush here and add a little bit of watercolor effect to the background. Um, these colors are going to look really nicely with the embellishments that I'm going to add later on. And I always have a napkin close by because I like to dab up a lot of the water and it also lightens up some of the color. So I'm going to pull out some plastic packaging and sort of add a little bit of uh, watercolor effect by doing that. And that just kind of smudges it around. It gives it a totally different look than if you use the brush. And I'm just combining these two colors. I want a couple of different shades and I want it to be very subtle. I don't want this to be, you know, in your face bright colors. I want it to be more of a, a subtle light and airy color scheme. And I never thought when I looked at this green triangle paper that I would be wanting to add pink and corally peachy colors with it but uh, the photo sort of brings it together and I do add a little bit of uh, turquoise slash aqua color in because my shirt in the picture is more of a turquoise aqua color. So I'm just going to keep playing around here for a bit with uh, the packaging technique and the water brush. And now I'm going to come in with a little bit of blue. This is another really pretty blue color from Shimmers. And it's got a lot of gold powder mixed in. And when it dries, it's this really pretty light blue. But it's got this gold shimmer to it. When it shines in the light, it's very, very pretty. So this is another Shimmers product that I have. I use it quite frequently. It's a really pretty turquoise blue spray. I don't know if you can hear those sirens, but there are sirens flying through my town. Wow. Somebody is in trouble. Alright, so I'm loving how this is looking. I love the uh, watercolor mixed in. Oh my gosh, those sirens are so loud. Can you hear that? Wow. <laughs> That's very distracting. I apologize. This is some tissue paper from my stash, and I'm just going to fold it up a few times. Oh my gosh, here they come. 
There they go. Wow. Woo! Glad I'm not the one being chased. All right, so I did some stitching and I did sort of a star shaped inside of all the oxagons. Oxy oh my gosh. Those are not oxagons. There's no such thing as an oxagon. Those are hexagons. Oh my good grief. Y'all, it's Monday. Oh. Anyway, thank you for bearing with me in my mindless chatter here. All right, so what am I doing? I'm adding in some thread, and this is a light blue color. Now I've pulled out some more papers, and I'm going to add a little bit of this really pretty flower floral paper. I believe that's Maggie Holmes. And I'm just going to use it as a little bit of a layering piece there behind the picture. And then the main embellishments in this kit are the cork pieces from Basic Gray and then the Maggie Holmes Bloom sticker sheet. And so I'm going to play with both of those and a couple of bits and pieces from previous kits from the past two months, the main kits. And these are from the Pink Paisley C'est La Vie collection. I believe they were in last month's main kit. And I had a couple bits and pieces left over. So I thought they match. I'm going to use them. And uh, I love how it turned out. And that's one of the little puffy stickers. And a couple of these other little cork pieces were from last month's kit. Now the Friends cork, that's from this kit, and it's from Basic Gray. And it has adhesive on the back. I think it's really cute. This little sticker sheet is from a few kits ago. And they're just white with silver letters. And I'm just going to use one that says hello there. I think it's really fun to take the bits and pieces from kits, you know, when you're at the end of them and you wound up having all these little pieces left over that you didn't use. Open them up when you get your next month's kit and see what you can add in because chances are something is going to coordinate really nicely and you may get a whole different idea of uh, how to use something that you did not use before. That little shine piece is from last month, I believe, and that's from one of the Maggie Holmes Bloom Cut Apart papers, and so I'm just going to fussy cut it out, and I'm also going to use that flare button that says Epic, mainly because I like what it says, and it's the perfect color. It's that really pretty light blue color, and I believe that was from January Kits as well. And I've used a, quite a bunch of these Maggie Holmes Bloom stickers, and so now I'm going to pull out some of the little hearts. They're half one color and half shiny gold. So I'm just going to use a couple of those around the design. This is the fun part. Well, all of it's the fun part. But I love once the main layout is pretty much finished. And then you have all the little bits and pieces to add in. Um, I love that part. But I love the mixed media part too. I love the getting messy part. Who am I kidding? I love all phases of scrapbooking, so I'm pretty sure you're the same way. The part that trips me up the most is coming up with titles a lot of times. Sometimes I have a title right away before I even start the page, and then other times at the end I have no idea what to do. So I really like when there are words like this already given to you. And it inspired me to create a friend's layout because when I saw that sticker, I thought, okay, I need to make a friend's page. And so I kind of started with that as my title in mind. That's some green thread that I added there. So I'm going to put that underneath that flare button down at the bottom. So it's going to give another little pop of green with the blue flare on top. And sometimes I've found that I have to add glue underneath little stickers like that, especially when there's mixed media involved because it changes the whole texture of the background. 
and so stickers don't really want to stick. So I always like to add glue just to be sure. And this is getting close to being finished. Um, I did add some gold color shine from my stash and then I came back in with my journaling and the date. And that's the final page. Um, I really didn't use a whole lot of things, especially the pattern paper. It was very minimal here. Um, I had a great time making this. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these products or any of the kits. Make sure you check out citrustwistkits.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.